Hey, I'm KP. I've been on this planet for 40 something years. And uh, I've had a pretty interesting life. But now, it looks like I might have a problem. So, uh, join me on this journey into the unknown. So, um, my balance has been bad for years. Okay. Right. Um, the tinnitus I really only sort of discovered two and a half, maybe three years ago. Okay. When everything was nice and quiet. It was actually a blackout. And when our place goes into a blackout, it's just like you shut off a power, um, power station. Um, the left hand not working has been for 12 years. The numbness was 9, 12 weeks ago. Okay. And that's in your left hand. Yep. Um, the vertigo has, or the, the dizziness and vertigo has been progressively getting worse since, that I've really noticed since November, which is when I started the new job and I've got these great big crop aisles that I walk up and down. And you've got all this product that goes up to sort of 10 feet either side of you, so it's actually quite cla claustrophobic as well. Okay. So, um, and that's when I, I sort of really noticed when, hey, I'm, am I hung over from the night before or? You know, or something else, and yeah, you know, five o'clock in the afternoon. Well, you know, you're not hung up, you know, um, not to that point. So, um, yeah, that's been that. Okay, so it's been progressive over a period of time, but mm. worse in the last sort of three months. It's well, I've noticed other things, and it's um, as I said, it was the the balance type thing. Has always been bad. Mm -hmm. From probably the age of 21. Um, and what was the other Yeah, but the left hand for about the last 12 years has progressively been getting worse. So if I needed to do, what put a a screw into a, a threaded hole or something like that, I'd struggle picking yep. the screw up. Okay. Um, so yeah, the sorts of things I've noticed. Yep. Okay, so the MRI clearly, and I apologise, I had thought our nurses would get on to you earlier, but they've been so busy that, you know, it just been a bit slow. Um, as typical of radiology reports, it's not specific. But the thing they mentioned that concerning me is it says suspicious for demyelination. So demyelination, the commonest thing that occurs in multiple sclerosis. And that's what I said to you last time. Yeah, and that's what I think we need to... And I've been, my YouTube fans out there, um, I got onto a guy in Ohio, the Ohio MS group. Yep. After the MRI, I felt like I'd been battered about... Sorry, they're horrible. Tell me about it. <laughs> I apologise, but it just... A CT doesn't give no, me this and information. I, I agree with you 100% yep. straight off. But anyway, I got onto um, this guy on, on his YouTube channel. He makes these videos for his patients in between visits. And, yeah, so on Tuesday, I could not go to work. I was just... Dum, 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 you know, with noise. So, um, had a bit of a rest in the morning and in the afternoon, I got on, found this yep. guy on YouTube. And I went, oh, that's crazy, okay, I've got that. All right, yeah, I've got that, I've got that. Yes, I have erectile dysfunction as well, okay. So, which is something I forgot about. That's okay. And they talk about the fog and, yeah, that does happen. It's like on Friday morning, I, I go to pick up we got a guard, uh, bag of rubbish there. I took another bag of rubbish out of the little can that we've got. Holding a bottle of water in this hand. 
Mother dang rubbish, mother dang rubbish from the water. I, I've got to pick that up. And it took me, you know, five, six seconds to say, no, KP, put the bottle of water here and then reach down and grab the bag. And that's probably the first time I've really noticed it. But I know in the past, well, you would test to this too. I'll look for something. And it'll be right in front of my face. Yeah. So, I find out I've got MS. Pretty confronting, pretty uh, surreal. And um, now we wait for the next steps. This is what your brain should look like. This is what my brain could look like. I do have a copy of the MRI, but I can't get the images off the uh, disc that I was given. So basically, I've got lesions in my brain. Um, I've got black holes through my brain. My head has holes in it, basically. Anyway, so um, the next episode was going to be um, either with the neurologist or after the neurologist, and I might have more information for you. So yeah, I have MS, that sucks, and um, I'm launching a bunch of new t-shirts for MS awareness, anyway, thank you so much for watching this video, really do appreciate it, gives me confidence every time someone hits that like button. So hit that like button, give me a little bit more confidence because I don't know where this journey is going to end. Don't forget to share this video with all your friends on uh, all platforms of social media because, again, I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to be notified every time a new video goes up. How good or how crappy it is and how good or how bad the news is, it's going to happen. I want you to come along on my journey with me and join my family. Hit that subscribe button and you'll never miss another one of my videos again. I will catch you next time.